Hello guys, I want us to see how you can create a login uh, screen in Microsoft Access without coding. Therefore, if you can look at a demonstration here, if you click on this one, when this one is blank, yeah, you get that uh, the login is unsuccessful, failed, and you are not allowed to login. But if you give uh, correct credentials, here that way and click on ok therefore login is successful and then the dashboard is opened for you therefore basically uh, what you need to do uh, is first of all to make sure you have your dashboard uh, created then you go to a table you create a table with the following fields therefore you can just have this one as password 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 therefore you shall have the username password level and description and therefore that is the table you need to have that is the login table then you need to create this login screen therefore sorry you can just close this we need to create this login screen therefore the login screen you'll create these are text boxes you create you create two text boxes that is for the username and for the password you can also include a toggle button just like i have done therefore if you go to property sheet here here for this one here if i click on the first button you will see it is called text one if i click the second button it is called text three then we have our login button that is our Togo 7. So to do the macro, uh, you click on this button, then go to on click, on click event here, that is event on click of the button, then you hit the three dots and choose that is embedded macro. Therefore, you'll be taken to this part here where you choose if, you choose if, then this one, we have changed this one to uh, password. So this is password. Or well, this is password. Password. So what you need to do here, ladies and gentlemen, is to uh, choose if, then type the following: decount username from a table called login, uh, where the username is equals to text box one and the password equals to text box three. And then the action to choose down there is a message box. And then the message box will allow you to type a title, that is the message. Then you only type the title here and the message. Then from there, you go to else section. You also do a text box, login and successful. Then failed, the title will be failed. Then outside the end if of that uh, macro, the first macro, you now use if but you use d lookup instead of d count therefore remember you have changed our field here to password to password that way then now the action is open form you see now when you you choose action like here you can choose open form you see you can just choose open form action if our action is open form then you choose the form name you see now from the drop down list you have number of forms and therefore i want to choose for main uh, the rest remains the same then from there uh, the message box uh, that is in case uh, this one is not successful it will give a message that you are not allowed to log in uh, or, and also uh, you have not met the requirements therefore basically this is the if I just click outside here, you'll be in a position to see the macro uh, that works there. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, you can download a copy of this for free from my website just to have these ones. Since you can just copy them, you see now you can just copy them as you wish and then edit them as you wish. Therefore, just have a copy of this database uh, from my website, the URL of my website is just below this video 
Also, ladies and gentlemen, remember to subscribe if you haven't subscribed for me so that you can get more and more materials as I upload them. Therefore, thank you very much for watching. See you in my next session.